altcoin trauma too. To be honest, I'm a little surprised to even know what an altcoin is. Uh, yeah, don't, don't stay far away from all that. It's really not good investments. Here we have Coca-Cola on the opposite end of the spectrum. A, ve a pretty low volatile ticker, but it d definitely does have its price channels, which you can use to your advantage to identify the opportune times to buy and the opportune times to sell. If you were in the Discord, we were actually quite bearish on this ticker. We've been bearish on this ticker for about a month now. It's really been sitting around doing nothing. Uh, if you would have been invested in this, you would have either been up uh, up 1% to 2% or down 1% to 2% over the past few months. Really not doing a whole lot. Ideally, it would have made a 11% push to the downside, followed by... a 14% push to the upside. And that's just kind of the type of swings you expect from a ticker like Coca-Cola. Again, I only really bring it up because uh, it was talked about in the Discord this past week. I don't drink soda. I don't know if you guys do. I don't drink pop. Uh, pop's really bad for you. It has a lot of sugar in it. Um, I really just drink water, milk, you know. I blame my ex. It's all his fault. That's where the crypto trauma stems. I learned too much. That's hilarious, yeah. Yep. I have my uh, fair share of bad exes as well. So, If you don't already, make sure to follow on Twitch, follow on YouTube, follow on Facebook, Twitter, whatever platform you might be watching this on. Make sure you're following to stay up to date on all the latest news. You never call it soda again. This is the Midwest. That's hilarious. What do I expect from Coca-Cola moving forward? Again, I would expect a push downward as we predicted midweek this week in the Discord. If you were in there, you would have known. It is down already 2% for the past week that we had mentioned it. Again, we're aiming at that uh, weekly 180 moving average. Where's my... Yeah, we're getting. We're aiming at the weekly 180 moving average, price point of uncoincidentally exactly fifty dollars and like ten cents. Um, that'd be a good spot to have your bids in, and then you can hold. Am I your OnlyFans? No, no, no. Don't follow me on OnlyFans. Stay, stay on Twitch. Um. But yeah, that's Coca Cola. It's pretty simple. It's really, really obvious for people who look at the chart of Coca-Cola to see, oh, there's some peaks and valleys in, uh, in these charts here. But if you're not looking at the chart, you have a lot of people who enjoy low volatility investing, who just kind of buy and hold in this type of ticker. You get around 3% dividend, which is a little bit below average, but it's also not bad. It's very good. Um, in 2020, their profit margins stay the same, but the net income went down. Take that for what you uh, see fit. Hazel, I'm pretty sure I remember who you are. I just don't want to put you on blast on stream, you know. What's another ticker we should look at? What's another ticker we should look at? Hazel, name a company. Name a company. What's uh, something you're staring at right now? Uh, what's your favorite drink? What's your favorite clothing? What's your favorite car? What's your favorite something? <laughs> Slavazon? You want to look at a Slavazon? Okay. 